Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here on my next Naruto video. This one's going to be a kind of discussion of the recent news that has just kind of come out uh, regarding the Borto anime that's coming. So, uh, the big news, of course, is Borto anime coming April 2017. What this means is that Shippuden is effectively going to end after the next couple of arcs. So we've got, I believe, two episodes left of this current Sasuke arc that we're on. To cover that, then we're going into an adaptation of the Shikamaru uh, novel, um, which will be a couple of episodes. I think that starts in January. Um, then we will go into an adaptation of the Konoha Hiden novel, which is the one kind of is the setup to Naruto and Hinata's wedding, kind of the other characters buying presents for them. Uh, I think that, that, as far as we, we know right now, that's all of the um, Shibuden episodes. They I don't know if that covers all the way up to April, but it would be in or around that time period, depending on how many episodes they devote to each thing. They, they may do like one or two episodes um, at the end to like properly end Shippuden or something like that, uh, but we're not entirely sure about that. But either way, it, it means that there's no, we're not getting like another arc, they're not adapting all of the novels as part of um, Shippuden, but at the same time I'm kind of like, is Shippuden over? Like, it, I don't think the announcements really confirmed 100% that, like, Shippuden is over, over. In that, like, are they going to keep Naruto Shippuden a thing for, like, if they ever want to do the other adaptations? Or is Naruto in animation now just called Borto um, Naruto Next Generation? Because the fact that Naruto is still in the title, the subtitle for the new Borto anime, to me suggests that they're still leaving it open for them to be able to tell some stories that are perhaps more focused on Naruto, um, which at the moment would primarily be the adaptations of the other novels that we haven't got yet. Um, like Gara, I think yeah, there's an Akatsuki novel. Um, uh, and I think that, I think there's one or two others I'm forgetting at the, at the, just off the top of my head. Um, I think there's recent ones coming out as well that are focused on other characters. Um, but, um, yeah, th this is obviously surprising. One, because the Borto manga is still in the process of adapting the Borto movie. So, come April, we'll only be on Borto manga chapter, like, hmm, like, we're, we're, we're leading up to eight coming out, like, in, like, a week. So, we'll only be on, like, chapter 12, 13, come April. Um, which means we'll only be like four or five, if, if, if even that, chapters into new content past the movie adaptation, which is enough to maybe animate one or two episodes, but to start a new series, there's not a ton there. So it's leading most people, including myself, to believe that in this case, Borto's case, the anime is going to be the main content for this uh, series. The manga is going to be adapting the anime for the most part, rather than the other way around. Just because that seems to be the way it's going to work, just based on scheduling. Because I think they've confirmed Kishimoto is at least involved in the process with the anime. I don't know if they quite said he was animating that, or if that was like a translation... It, it, no, not animating, um, if he was writing it, um, or if that was a kind of translation error. But still, it's interesting just that he was specifically mentioned that, I think one of the quotes he says is that, like, <clears throat> my aim is to help this series to be better than Naruto or something like that. Um, so I, I think it's, you know, it, it's interesting just that this is happening. Um, I'm fine with the anime being, like, the source material, because obviously there's, there has been criticism of the new artist, though I think he has improved. But if this is the direction they want to take it in, that um, Studio Piero really see Naruto as something they really like and they can make money from and they, they're happy animating it that's fine with it kind of being the kind of source material I don't think many people have too big of a problem with that it's purely will come down to the quality of the content that actually comes out now if they do want to fill in other stuff of course there is other things to do Naruto Gaiden that hasn't been animated yet that is a I think it's a 12 it's in around 12 chapters um that could easily make up, you know, three, four, five episodes, depending on how, how exactly they want to cover it. That's a story you can do that's quite well, that really heavily introduces Sarada. I think it's actually a decent story for Boruto, even if he's not the main character in it. 
Um, there's of course Naruto Chapter Seven Hundred. We haven't had that animated yet, um, and that's something you could you could definitely do to further highlight the fact that Naruto is the um, Hokage in that. Like, we haven't really had that, like, confirmed just yet. Like, everyone, of course, knows who watches the anime, but in the anime itself, we haven't really had that moment where we see, like, Naruto become the Hokage. They have, obviously, as part of, the, I think, the Borto, ex the extras on the Borto DVD that came out in Japan, You they have animated the whole the day Naruto became Hokage thing. But it's still, that's kind of like, they, they take a more jokey approach to it, it still feels like they haven't like fully committed to the whole like Naruto is the Hokage thing yet just in regards to the anime. So I think they should probably do something to highlight that a bit and animating 700 maybe to start off Borto would I think work really well because you are going to kind of have to introduce a lot of these new, the, ki the, ki the kids of our older characters to a lot of people. So 700 kind of acts like that. So uh, to me that's the perfect place to start off then maybe animate Gaiden, then you can get into your new stuff. And at that stage, you're maybe a month or two, three, into the Borto manga, you've maybe given the uh, manga a chance to kind of um, continue on and more content to come out. But I still think the anime is going to quickly catch up and mean that in, in really no way the anime can be based on the manga. And they can keep the manga consistently ahead of the anime just because of how um, uh, quickly the Borto anime is actually coming out. So uh, again, it's 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 a it's a kind of confusing announcement. It's it's exciting for sure. I'm I'm really happy that they're kind of committing to a Borto series. It's just that because we haven't seen really what the the kind of plot for the Borto kind of ongoing series is, it's a bit hard to really like understand what exactly the series is like there's a few things they can do as part of this but like what exactly is the series because the only tease as to anything bigger of course comes from the borto manga the first couple of pages of the first chapter with the whole time skip and like konaha being attacked and the implication that like naruto is dead at that point in time and borto is a reasonably strong ninja the whole new kind of tattoo kind of power thing that they seem to have and that enemy that Borto is fighting, I um, can't remember his name just off the top of my head, but that's the only hint that they really have as to something bigger and how exactly will they approach that. Or there's always the chance that they kind of take the anime in a different direction, the manga in a kind of other direction where they're more hinting at stuff for the kind of future of Borto, and then the anime eventually adapts this other separate stuff. They could kind of both have them be canon content, but like different parts of the Borto timeline going forward but I don't really know and um, definitely we need some more clarification on what exactly is going to be the Borto like anime in terms of the series but I'm still excited for this I, I hope they I, I hope with this series it, it gives them that they don't forget about the stuff that they haven't done just yet like I hope they don't just immediately skip like Gaiden skip all the other novels and so on I want to see that stuff. I want to see like all of basically the Naruto canon content um, animated at some point. Um, but I hope it's... I, I think the only real disappointment with the Boruto anime would be if it is kind of just like random missions with the team and it's kind of like fillery type content. Like it'd be fun obviously because more time with these characters who we don't know massively well just yet is always good. But if they just start off with a ton of fillery stuff, it's 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 always obviously going to disappoint people. But I I definitely have some hope based on this announcement. But in the comments, let me know what your thoughts are on this um, Borto anime announcement.